Today's video, we start with a hydration shot. Am I hydrated? Aim for clear urine at least 10 times a day. Eat a diet rich in fresh fruits and vegetables. Drink a quart of water before meals. Thank you. So I've got a little analogy here. If you want to break glass, we're going to break some glass to recycle, right? If you want to break glass, do you use foam? Do you use foam? If you want to burn fats, should you eat more fats? It's a bit of fun. Probably doesn't work too well. If you want to get lean, should you eat like a Kenyan? If you want to break glass, should you use a fucking brick? I think you fucking should. So we've got a breakfast melon here. This is about $25 US. It's about a five kilo melon. Um, half of this is unedible skin, so we've got about around 600 calories here, so this is about one and a half large Snickers bars, so about 600 calories for $25. If you wanted to do melons in Australia right now, this is organic as well, organic local. Um, so 3,000 calories a melon, you want to do a melon day, would be roughly about $150 a day, so about $1,000 a week if you want to live on 3,000 calories of melon per week in Australia, thousand dollars each. So if you've got a family of five, you've got some teenage kids, they want to do a melon on with you, that's about five thousand dollars a week to feed your family organic watermelon. And people get up in arms while we give people options, backup plans. To feed your family three thousand calories a day on organic rice would cost you literally a dollar fifty a day per person. So times five, about ten dollars a day. $70 a week versus $5,000. So, obviously the raw food diet is for the elite, for the monetary elite, <laughs> such as myself, but I understand not many people can have a $25 meal. And so we give people options, man, because we live in the fucking real world. And it's, it's just fine to say, no, raw is law, there's no fucking options. And that's great, but it's, not, it's, it's a good mindset if you live in the fucking jungle where money's not a barrier where access to food is not a barrier. If we lived in paradise, it wouldn't be an issue, for sure. Raw is law then, because there's no other fucking option. But we don't live in that world, do we? So often people say, you know, they do like a full-on diet just to sort of look better than everyone else. But it's not really accessible for everyone. I'm more about what's accessible for everyone, because if everyone can fucking do it, we can create global change, versus just have two or three people in the world that can do something. Does that make sense? So, for sure, fruit, number one food in the planet. Have a backup plan. Rob banks like us so you can afford good food. <laughs> so we've got here a flat of organic local strawberries. Do you think I can eat the whole flat? See that? Bit of exposure on this camera, I do apologize for that. Organic strawberries. This is, these are 250 grams, local South Australian organic strawberries certified by National Organic Certification Body. So it's about nine ounces in the US. 250 grams, smell pretty good. Mm. Pretty tasty. Not as good as what you get in the US, but pretty good for Australian strawberry stands. One thing with strawberries, you can eat the green top. Get your greens in. You got a little bit of dipping sauce in here. Guess what that is? Mmm, that's good. I'll flag that for later. Just angle this camera. Mm. So you can see me eating. Eating the berries of goodness. How much did this cost? These are $6 each. So this is a $72 flat of strawberries here. Let's see if we can do it. Deux infos vite fait, euh, DJ Vanguard.
10 10 is a caloro nutrient ratio. It's about consuming more than 80% of your calories from carbs and less than 10% of your calories from protein and fat. 80 10 10 need not be strictly closed in and defined in such a way that only the elite can follow it. All right, sounds reasonable to me. Get in your 80-10-10 ratio and having a reasonable non-elitist attitude about it. Well, speaking of elitist attitude, a lot of people have been given Harley and Freely attitude because they've been including steamed foods and starches, cooked starches, into their diets. And a lot of these critics are saying, that's not 80-10-10. Well, let's see what Doug has to say about this. And to recognize that people who are on a high starch diet are likely following 80-10-10 in terms of their caloronutrient values. If I eat food and I include a steamed steak of eggplant or I steam some broccoli, it's still 80-10-10. So there you go. Dr. Doug Graham, in his own words, if you have some steamed veggies, some steamed carbs, he says it's still 80-10-10. So you still may have your own opinion out there and disagree with him, and that's fine. However, this is Dr. Doug Graham, the author of 80-10-10, so his opinion should carry a little weight. And furthermore, he's, he goes on to say, as you heard him there, we shouldn't have this restrictive attitude as what constitutes 80-10-10. We should be more open-minded and inclusive. Does that sound a little bit like what Harley and Freely have been doing lately, trying to bring more people in. Let's see if Doug has some similar idea. I recommend opening the doors, welcoming as many people as we possibly can, and explaining to people that 811 is about a caloronutrient ratio, not about being in some elite club that we don't want anyone else to get in, that we want to show all the other people why they're wrong. That's not what this is about. It's not in any way. The more people that come in, the better it is for all of us. It is imperative that those of us who are already involved in the 80-10-10 program to remain open, to remain available, to remain friendly, to remain positive, to keep on reaching out to the mainstream. That's where the numbers are to keep open, to keep positive, to reach out to the mainstream. That's where the numbers are. That sounds a lot like what Harley and Freely have been doing and have been receiving so much criticism about lately because they're not keeping this elitist, restrictive attitude as to what is an 80-10-10 style diet. So I think this is a pretty open and shut case. Dr. Doug Graham knows what he's talking about, well-respected, very articulate man. Listen to what he has to say here. Um, post your questions and comments down below. What do you think about this? Is 80-10-10 only a raw vegan diet and you're going to go beyond Dr. Doug Graham because you know better? If so let me know down there. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button for more from Happy Healthy Vegan. So until next time, guys, keep it carb, baby. Keep it carb. C'est le début de l'Alpe d'Huez. CJ Van Garderen attaqué avec Christophe Rimlon, Yann Savoy de juste derrière. La grande bagarre est commencée. All right, so we got that done. That done. Got one little strawberry left. Is at a, I bet about three or four mouldy ones. That's the good thing because the organic ones aren't sprayed in fungicide. So you get a, you get a few little Santa Claus. Got a little bit of a beard on them. <laughs> that's a little bearded strawberry. Hey, that's probably full of enzymes and pro. I could probably sell this.
could probably sell this. Maybe I can, I can send it to DTM, aka ATM. Maybe I can get some little affiliate link with the NCP. Anyway, I don't know. Just having a bit of a laugh. So that's a meal of strawberries. A meal of strawberries. How many calories was that? $72 worth. I'm definitely full, but I'm definitely hungry still. It's quite interesting. It's quite interesting. So it's, it's quite a unique feeling that I'm full, but I'm like, I want to fucking crack open some durian, which is what we're going to have next. We're going to have next. I've eaten that many strawberries. I'm up to here in strawberries right now, but I'm still thinking I couldn't fucking touch another strawberry. <laughs> that, was, that was a big meal. So that's 960 calories then. I'm so full. I don't want to fucking see another strawberry for the rest of my life, but I'm still looking for more food. Why is that? Is it coming an emotional eater, or is it because I only had 960 calories? That's right, it's calories, man. It's carbohydrate calories. Normally, I'm used to getting like at least 2,000, 2,500 for a meal. Somebody's going, yeah, that was good. We're full, but where's the fucking calories, really? Where is it, Harley? So I'll wait a little bit longer. And I'm going to crack open the durians, and then we're going to see some action happening. Then we're going to see some action happening. So that's the bottom line is, I mean, who, who eats, you know, this many cartons of strawberries? 12, 12 flats. 12 flats. Put them all in the box so you can see it. Who eats that many strawberries? Imagine if you're a kid, right, and, and your parents buy strawberries and punt at strawberries. They bring them home. They put them in the fridge. You take them out of the fridge. You eat them. What happens when you did that as a kid? I did that once. My fucking mum went off at me. She's yeah, those strawberries like I was using those for a chocolate cake. I was like, sorry, mum. So you get taught from a very early age that you don't eat all the fruit. You have a piece of fruit. You have a piece of fruit in between meals. Fruit's not the meal. Fruit's a snack. So then when we get into our adulthood and we learn about the fruitarian diet, 30 bananas a day diet, whatever, we start to, you know, we've got to break a lot of conditioning up. A lot of conditioning up. So you can see here all the plastic things. I'll recycle all these. There you go. That's what it looks like afterwards. So the greens, I ate a fair few of them, but eventually got too bitter. So we'll compost all of this, recycle all this. Do your bit. Do your bit. That's the thing. Is the mentalities people have is like, you have a little bit of fruit, you don't have fucking 12 pounds of strawberries. You're an emotional idiot if you did that. <laughs> but if you look at the calorie breakdown, 900 calories. Same as one Big Mac, large fries. If you were at McDonald's and ate a Big Mac large fries, nothing else, people were like, you're going to die. Where's the rest? Where's the nuggets? Where's the sauce? Where's the, you know, where's your thick shake? Where's just some cookies? Where's a sundae? Got to get the chalky sundae, mate. When I used to go to Macca's, it ran at three and a half, at least three and a half thousand calories. One meal. I would pound that down. Massive amount of fat in that meal. Massive amount of sodium. Massive amount of antibiotics and all the shit they put in the meat there. Or whatever they put in there. Really unhealthy. I would definitely be obese now. The only reason why I could get away with it is A, I had fuck all money. So I pretty much just ate that one meal. And that was pretty much all I had. You know? So I was doing a lot of activity, walking around and stuff with my mates, running, doing graffiti and shit. But... That's all I'd have. But if I had unlimited money back then, fuck, I would have eaten Maccas every meal. So every now and then I got the Maccas when I had enough cash for it. it became daily in the end. But if I did that long term, <laughs> people do something for short term to think, oh, my friend's doing that. It's like, look at long term. Look at long term. I've seen plenty of my friends as lean as me double their body weight. And it ain't muscle. And it doesn't make them bad people. But you are what you eat. So there we go, we break it down that if you eat 900 calories of fruit, you're an emotional eater, you're an overeater. Even the fucking fruitarian community will tell you that. Like someone like Don Bennett will say, that's too much. That is too much. Even though it's, no, it doesn't matter about the calories. That's just 12 punters. No, that's too much, Harley. <laughs> Even good old Don. You know, like, that's why there's so much confusion in, in the raw food movement. Because it's, it's crazy. So that's why we try and break it down for people, show people, look at the calories, man. Look at the lifestyle you want to live. Do you really think you can sustain that lifestyle on that few little calories? You can't. You can't. You're going to get a stimulants. Your mood's going to be crashing. You're going to be all fake and flaky or whatever. So you need to get to sleep. You need to eat properly. Simple as that. So if you eat 900 calories of fruit, you're an overeater, emotional eater. The fruitarian community will tell you. Pretty much, unfortunately. If you eat 900 calories from McDonald's, people will be like, is that all you're going to have? 
So that's why we see such a failure rate on the fruitarian raw food lifestyle or whatever. Even though it's the best lifestyle around, but you don't really get much support. You don't get much support in the fruitarian world. You don't get much support anywhere else in the world. You're pretty much fucked unless you're a bit mentally you know, psychotic like us and you can deal with that social disapproval. So we're here to support you, back you up. We are not here to rape your ATM. Thanks for watching. Let's crack open the durian. Let's fucking feast. This is beauty, the Topek trailer comes off very, very easily, very easily. So we'll, I'll show you what we do, we just pull the bike through. And then you got your trailer. So it's great if you're touring because if you got panties and all that stuff, you know, there's always pros and cons to anything, the bike touring. And then the little dog has to come through. Come on little doggy. The little greyhound. Bring the greyhound on in. $168. Durian. Ready to eat. In Malaysia this would cost you about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Probably about 30 ringgit in peak durian season. What do you think, Figsy? Ground's not too sure. So we're gonna eat these bad boys. $168 durian meal. Fairly seven two. Durians, because she's having potatoes tonight. But I'm going all raw fruitarian style. A little bit odd. How's it taste? Not good. It's odd. The taste is really odd. And it's just got weird colouring. So here we go. So we're just going to weigh it here. This is like in a biological recording. So we're going to see what the flesh recovery is of the durian. So the bag's teared. So you got about 880 grams. So this is about $13 durian. I'll show you what you get for your money. Greyhound wants to be in the photos. Greyhound wants to be in. <laughs> so when the durian's ripe, you don't need a knife to open it. So for $13 this is what you get, three little chunks, so that's about uh, is that 13 by 3, so about $4 each, that's so your $4 half a mouthful of durian, that's uh, $2, so That's four dollars. Hmm. Too good. So I've got about 100 grams there of durian flesh. So it's roughly about 10, 12% flesh recovery for these frozen Malay durians. 10, 12%. So we'll get about a kilo flesh recovery from all these durians. Roughly, around 10%, 12%. So we're talking about 1,500 calories for $168, $1,500 calories. So today I've had for $251 US, I've roughly I've had about, uh, about 2,500 calories for $250. So it's about, 
What's that? What's that? Ten dollars for a hundred calories. You can see why people struggle in this lifestyle. I want to go home. It's getting a little bit late. About three left in the trailer. I suspect this is more than uh, 300 calories. Unless I'm really still full from the strawberries. So I want to keep eating, but I'm, I'm tapping out. This durian quality is... I wouldn't give this to anyone else who hadn't had durian before. I'm not sure what's going on, but the Malaysian durian standard has fucking dropped. Well, this batch anyway. It's, it's hard to eat. It's not that good. I'll give it about a 4 out of 10 from Malaysian durian. Which is unfortunate because it always used to be really good. So it's, it's, I'm struggling to get through it because the taste is just, it's just not there. But I will finish it. I'm going to go home though because it's going to be late. I'll bring these little three durians left with me. I'll leave these little shells for the critters. The animal's going to be walking around tonight going, What's that smell? <laughs> and the possums will bunch me to the shells. I think they'll like it. Either way, it'll break down. What comes to nature? goes back to nature. Let's go home and let's finish the meal. So we're going to finish off these durians. Let's get started. So we are done here. Well, durian snack, durian snack. That's what often what I'll do is I'll start a meal, and if I get too full, I'll just stop, wait a couple of hours, an hour or so, and then, and then finish it off. That's a good way to get your calories in. Because thing with fruit, man, is it's high volume, very low calorie compared to other things people are used to eating. So it can take a while for your body to adjust to eating a large amount of food. But the good thing is I do like eating. I do like eating. <sighs> Satisfied as again. Satisfied again. So that's it for the day. I'm going to go to bed, get an early night. We'll see you tomorrow. What I eat in a day. Fair trade, fair trade, organic, in the Lambo. Just fits, perfect size. Who needs to get a Lambo?